Hi, it's Mike at Phase 1. I've got a product I'd like to show you today, a lighting product. LEDJ Slimline 1T100. Now, this is one of the COB LED cans that we've seen before, but this is more powerful. And probably part of a new generation of more powerful cans that are going to be coming through. I think this is perfect for two applications. Uh, I think it would be great to light a stage up with it. I think it would be great for lighting up bands and acts and solo artists and anything like that where, where a stage or an area needs flooding with colour. This is going to be brilliant for. Also, I think it would actually work as well for the uplighters. Um, so you could use it to uplight a venue. Because this boasts to have a beam angle. Right, let's have a look here. One second. A beam angle of 25 or 110 degrees because it's got a removable lens which in a minute we'll take the camera off the stand bring you a bit closer and we'll take the we'll show you where the lens comes on and off so we can put the lens on it and it'll be 25 degree which i think would be great for up lighting or we can take the lens off and then it's 110 which i think is great for lighting up a stage when you're in a band or if you're in an act or something like that nine times out of ten you don't get a lot of throw for your light. Come on, we've all done it where you go to the pub or the bar or the venue and they go, you're in that corner there and you've got that much space, which doesn't give you a great distance to, for your lights. So you want the widest beam angle possible to get the maximum amount of coverage. This is going to give you that. Now, it is um, only RGB, right? But we can use it to colour mix and stuff like that. So we've got different uh, colour mixes that we can use using the RGB. It's got DMX channels, three or five selectable, um, and it's got built-in sound to light and all the usual features. And you can use a little remote. But when it comes to band lighting, I know easy control is something we're looking for. So I've hooked it up with this little fella here, which we're going to take all these items out of the box in a minute, called a little mix. Now we've got this set up in the shop at the minute using the little mix, and we can select colour fades, we can colour mix, we can um, select a colour hold, very very simply. And we're going to show you how we're going to do that in this video. So, we think this pair of these and one of these as a band package will work quite well. Let's have a closer look. Right, so let's have a closer look. So, as you can see, we've got a double yoke stand or hanging bracket. So we can have this floor standing. You can see here we've got the lens on the front. All right? Let's, so with this lens on the front, this is going to give you that 25 degree beam angle, which is going to be quite tight. Great for up lighting. It's going to focus the light, make it a bit stronger to wash up against the wall. Remove this, right? And now we're going to have a 110 degree beam angle. Now, just as a point of interest, you see, the reason now they're getting this nice beam angle now is the LED is a, that's a tri COB LED and the COB all it stands for is circuit on board so they're being able to pull that back into the unit because a lot of the traditional cans the, the LEDs are right at the front whereas you can see this is a perspex bit and this is like concaved in so then we can get a wider beam angle out of it which makes it very very good for stage washing right let's have another look at the unit what else have we got as features it's a solid metal housing and it's got feet on the bottom as well so you can put it on the bottom floor there and all our access to all our leads can get that right up against the wall and if you were going to use it like that as an uplighter you may want to take this bracket off which is removable there is a little remote sensor there if you wish to use it with a remote control which is a little optional extra that we will be selling here at phase one um, and let's go to the important bits. What have we got here? We've got power in and power out for power linking and we've got DMX in and DMX out. Very very solid little unit. A hundred watt LED. So we think it's actually really really bright. I reckon you could do a five, a four to six piece band with a pair of these. I'd, I'd like to sort of do, I would say a pair because I like to light from both sides instead of trying to put something in the middle. So I like to buy, uh, light from both sides, but you know, easily could, with a beam angle on this, solo artist duo, you may get away with one. But what's also very interesting, 
is we've packaged it together with this little fella. Now this is called an LEDJ Little Mix. This is not a new product at all. We've been selling this for ages. Go to the back of the unit, you've got power in, and we've got DMX out. All we're going to do in this video is take DMX out of there, put it into here. But what this is going to give us is some control. Now we've got blackout, and then we've got some preset colours. We've got red, green, blue, white, yellow, cyan and magenta. So if you want blue, you just press blue. We've got master dimmer, and then we've got dimmers for each individual colour, blue, green and red. But this thing also has built in auto fades, which you can adjust the speed of. And it's got a sound, which we can ch change the sensitivity of as well. I think this, hooked up with a pair of these, is a great little package. So, what we're going to do in the, in the next bit of the video, is we've got it set up in the shop, and we're going to show you, and I'm, you won't be able to see the controller being used, because I can only point the camera in one direction, but you'll get the gist. Let's have a look at it working. Right, so, we're in the room, got all the lights off, we'll just focus that up a bit. And basically we've got it plugged into the controller and obviously the light and the controller is behind the camera. We'll take some pictures as well though. Right, so we'll go from blackout to white. And I think you'll admit that that is doing a great job. You can see the angle of that light is huge. Now if I just pan the camera around, you can see the light there. So that one light, only one of them, is creating that much light there and you can see how wide that angle is which I think is really really impressive so beam angle gets a big tick from us right let's control it using the little mix controller again which is an optional extra it doesn't come with these units but we have got packages on the website which you need to click through just click the link in the description we can select different colors we've got red we've got green we've got blue we've got white We've got yellow, cyan, and a magenta colour as well. Now what also we can do is if I press the colour mix button, we've got red on the dimmer, green on the dimmer, and blue on a dimmer. So we can mix some different colours, which will be very handy for the guys who want to use this as an uplighter with the other lens on the front creating a tighter beam angle. So we can do some colour mixing which, again, can be achieved just by setting the unit. You know, all these things that we're showing here, you can set from the unit, but I think it's just very handy to have a little desk to be at the control thing for, not having to get down mid-performance to put it into sound and light mode or set it into a colour. So that's the colour mix mode. We've got a sound mode as well, right? So, very crudely, I am just tapping the controller, and you can see it's changing colour. So if we put some music on, it's going to go at the beat, which I think is great for a band. So during the performance, it's going to be dramatic on stage. But then when you stop, when you're addressing the crowd, when you're speaking to the crowd, you're not going to be still flashing. You know, it's nice to like get a solid light on. So just go to white or whatever colour you choose. And now it's not in sound of light mode. Then we're going to start our next song, press sound of light and it's back. Just very, very easy to use. Some of you may want to use it in an auto chase mode, which we can speed up and slow down. And that's not using sound of light. And you can speed it right up and slow it right down. Also, last point, we've got a colour fade. So that's fading through the different colours. And you can speed that up and slow it down as well. And we do have speed control of the auto functions as well and slow that down all in all I think that's just a very very simple no DMX magic there brilliant beam angle well bright enough with a hundred watt COB LED I think it's just a great little package what we'll do is um, we'll take some pictures of the units close-up pictures so you can have a look just at the end of the video uh, if you want some more information give us a ring or give us a click in the link below. Cheers, it's Mike at Phase 1.